Hello, my name is Roman Bretz. I'm the product manager of our advanced simulation engine we called MEUS. Um, MEUS is an add-in for the Enterprise Architect. Uh, the Enterprise Architect is a modeling platform. So, and today I'll show you the first integration between MEUS and um, multi-IDE. Uh, multi-IDE is uh, embedded IDE and developed by Green Hills. So on the left you see the Enterprise Architect uh, with uh, a Muse integrated in the Enterprise Architect as an add-in. Um, I opened here one uh, small EML uh, model. Uh, it contains uh, one class and the class uh, contains a couple of um, operations and one state machine you see here on the left. On the right you see the multi-IDE uh, and in that uh, multi-IDE I opened one project. The project contains uh, also the sources generated out of the model. So first of all let us check if it's really generated sources. Let me make some changes. save it and try to rebuild. Of course I will fail because it is not correct C code. Now I go back to the Enterprise Architect and I'll generate source code again using LibreLibre C code generator. Now it's finished, it's fast. Let us check. In the source code was overwritten, very good, and let us try to rebuild it again. Build successful, good, and now we will start the debugging. So today I use uh, Green Hills hardware simulator, but it works uh, also with the real hardware, there is no big difference. You see, the code is running. Now I go back to the Enterprise Architect and add the class and the state machine into the and use control panel. Now we connect. Now we do not want uh, we do not want check if it's correct. We just want to connect Enterprise uh, the, the use to the running code. Now you see on the right we we are going through the code and on the left we are going through the model. Um, let me try to toggle breakpoints within the model. Now we reached the breakpoint, the state, check temperature, and on the right we stopped also in the code let me uh, let me check okay check temperature uh, the name of the state is correct and the name of the state the state uh, the overstate monitor of health it's also correct very good so if you do the next step we will jump so we will not reach the failure state. Why? Let, let us check. There is a guard with a condition. We only reach, uh, can reach the failure state if the engine temper temperature is bigger than over temperature. Okay, let us take a look and, and to attribute values. The en en engine temperature is right now is zero. So we change it to 100, uh, 120, and go to the next step, and you see we reach the failure status. Very good. Basically, what is also possible using a multi-debugger 
it has integrated a time machine so we also go back uh, through the breakpoints now you see we're reached uh, the check temperature again we're going back in the time so thank you for your uh, attention it was the first integration between and use and multi-ID and multi-device. Bye-bye.